Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store. Yep, still putting the metal DVDs away, and uh, this is a band that's uh, I really love, but uh, it might be a little too ethnic for some people because it's from Eastern Europe, and uh, this is not for anybody, but um, I believe if you're an open-minded enough person, you're open-minded enough metal fan or rock fan, I think you could really get a lot out of this. And uh, this is Episode from Bulgaria. This is a uh, Cyrillic Episode. Saint Pat. This is uh, Saint Patri. Saint Patrice. Yeah, Saint Patriarch Eftimi. Yeah, Saint Patriarch Eftimi. And uh, like I said, I don't speak Bulgarian, but I can read Cyrillic text. Because like Russian, Bulgarian also has Cyrillic alphabet, and uh, and uh, it's not. It, it is a Slavic language, but it is totally different from Russian. You know, even though I can kind of make out other words here and there. And so, uh, I have their CDs also, but uh, again, I, they're boxed up for the big move and. Uh, so I don't have them for show and tell, but for now I still got the DVDs out. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm still want to talk about this band, and uh, I do have their poster frame that a Bulgarian friend gave to me, and then I'm gonna definitely post this on his Facebook page. And um, I haven't listened to him for a while, but I mean I still respect this band a lot, just because you know I'm not exactly the apple pie baseball American myself, and I tend to be more attracted towards you know, things and entertainment that's more foreign or different or it just seems to have more depth to it than than the uh, main lamestream pop culture that's thrown at me, you know, 24-7. And, uh, and it gives me that false sense of superiority that I got something else that no one does. And so, you know, episodes. Now, this is a live concert in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. Um, Episode. They're very uh, nationalistic bands. I mean, they're very proud of their country. They're very proud of their culture and history. And uh, and uh, even if you don't speak Bulgarian or have a clue, I think you'd get that vibe from them. It's uh, it's just a really good concert. You know, real simple. It's kind of like melodic metal slash doom slash folk metal. They also do uh, metal renditions of old uh, Macedonian and Bulgarian folk songs. And uh, kind of like the way Iron Maiden sings about the history of the British, you know, exploits. You know, episode, their songs are about uh, historical things of their country, like, you know, resisting Turkish occupation and, and things like that. Um, but I'm not really here for a history lesson. I'm trying to teach you about, you know, a really good band. And, I mean, Eastern Europe is really rich as far as, like, if you want music that's different, you know, that's not like everything else, it's not the same thing that's been pounded into the ground. I mean, you could find, you know, quite a bit of music from Eastern European countries like Bulgaria or Ukraine. And uh, they're really interesting. But uh, this is a really good concert. Uh, Again, these are in Cyrillic, like uh, Borba, Moria, Skole, Il, Skole, Pie, Naproshavani, Ako, Umra, Il, Zagina. Um, again, like real historical figures, and it's a really great stage show, too. Um, again, uh, they have uh, folk dancers doing traditional Bulgarian folk. Uh, yeah, folk dances. They have the. They're wearing the traditional Bulgarian and Matt costumes. They get, depending on a th the theme of the songs, they have the. Uh, you know, the extra dancers come out or the actors. And uh, also, um, I don't know if they're really officially band members, but uh, they also have uh, tradition. Other people helping them out on traditional. Uh, um, traditional folk instruments, which I mean, you, you, you hear to and really enhances the sound of the music. Then they have a, a secondary vocalist, which is just 
you know, cute brunette female woman in a leather jacket. So, you know, they definitely look as, but they still look as metal as a uh, steel beam. And, um, I mean, definitely, I mean, uh, definitely lots of culture and depth in this. And, uh, I mean, these aren't, sh it's a, you know, a shallow minded party and have a good time bands. And, uh, this is, uh, really epic. Um, it's, um, yeah, my uh, my Facebook friend Iordan Kanev. I used to trade with him and buy from him, you know, every every now and then a while back. But uh, this one I got from him. He actually um, this one. If you don't know any Bulgarian, you can still there. You you have the option of subtitles, so you can uh, watch it with English or Russian subtitles. And and basically, it's a uh, historic. It's a rendition of the histor history of. Uh, the the, as the uh, patron saint Eftimi of the or Bulgarian Orthodox Church who uh, um, I guess he went into hiding because the uh, the uh, the Turks were looking for him or the Ottomans they were under Otto this is when they uh, fell to the Ottoman Empire but you know, they gave up a really really hard fight that the Ottomans did not take Bulgaria easily by any means. Then uh, it basically just talks about different historical points, you know, and uh, he has the song titles are in English, so uh, you know, it kind of gives you a, you know, what happened, what and where, um, like just a really good metal musical, and and uh, they have the I believe they have an extra which is Oshipka, which is the uh, battle of a hundred, yeah, about a century or oh over a century. Hey, um, E. Jordan Kanev, if you're watching this, you know, please correct me if I say anything wrong or inaccurate about uh, Bulgarian history or this band, but again, I mean, I really enjoyed it from start to finish. They use a lot of uh, Bulgarian film, film, uh, like uh, old Bulgarian movies, you know, that cover the history that they, they slip movie footage here and there, and, uh, Again, I mean, a really good good story, and uh, you get a little educated on the uh, history of the Slavic peoples, and uh, really good. And, and these are the costumes they wear on stage. Um, you know, they're dressed and ready to do medieval battle. Probably some of the best Eastern European folk metal I have in my collection so far, and. Uh, and, but again, you know, if you want something different, something with a lot of culture and depth, I mean, I strongly suggest Episode. But again, it's not for everybody. It might be a little too weird for, you know, some of you people out there. Even though, you know, folk metal is kind of in right now. Hey, and uh, thanks again for watching Joe's Record Store. Check out Episode. Stay metal.